She will take you on an insightful journey of the world travel and the ups and downs of doing so. Please welcome Rachel. Does anybody in this room know what a third culture kid is? No? Well, for those of you that don't, I'm about to take you on a short but insightful journey. A third culture kid is born into a life of adventure and travel without even realising it. Essentially, a third culture kid is someone who was brought up in different countries that differ to their parents' nationalities. The life of a third culture kid can be very difficult to explain sometimes. For example, what would you call someone who was born in Kenya, whose mum was British, their dad was Canadian, they had an Irish surname, and they spoke Swedish? Probably not a brummie. <laughs> Being a third culture kid means that you need to travel a lot, which means you need to adapt and settle quite quickly. That's into new homes, your school, neighbourhood, and eventually you do make friends who will have some awkward questions that some people might think they're quite simple to answer, but they're not for a third culture kid. Questions such as, well, where are you from? And what school did you go to? By this point, a third culture kid might have lived in several countries and gone to many different schools. So how do you answer such a simple question? And once you have settled into your country and your new city, you could be on the move again. And that's where you need to learn to cope, albeit a little bit difficult. But nothing can prepare you for the sadness of goodbyes. That's your friends, your family, pets. The list goes on and on and on. And it can be really difficult as a third culture kid to up and move to a brand new country. But at the same time, it can be really exciting to know that you're going somewhere new. And speaking of going somewhere new, I think that's where the travelling side of it comes in. There is no such thing as a two-week, all-inclusive holiday on a third culture kid's mind. Really what they're thinking um, as soon as they land from the plane, they want to get out there and embrace the new city and see what it has to offer. Things like music, food, oh the food, <laughs> people and languages. They really just want to go out there and explore and there's really no time to rest. And speaking of languages, they're a great skill to have, am I right? Show of hands. They are, if you get them right, it's when you get them wrong that it can go terribly badly for you. Being a third culture kid, you can often learn several languages very quickly, and if you get them muddled together, you could end up creating your own. And even English words can be very dangerous. Something that might mean um, a particular meaning here can have a completely different meaning in another English-speaking country. And thinking about later on in life when you want to settle down, um, build a family, perhaps buy a new home, that is a terrifying prospect for a third culture kid. They've never had any roots, they've always moved around, so how do you settle in one country where you're going to spend the rest of your life forever? It's a daunting, daunting thought. I asked you at the beginning of my presentation what you thought um, someone who was born in Kenya, a Swedish speaker, their parents of different nationalities and had an Irish surname. I call her Rachel Hetherington. I'm very proud to be a third culture kid. <laughs> 